Another White House departure with the president firing Tillerson in favor of CIA Director Mike Pompeo. It comes just a week after National Economic Council Director Gary Cohn resigned over disagreements over tariffs. For more on all of this, we're joined by Mitch Daniels, a former governor of Indiana, current president of Purdue University. Governor, good to have you back. Good morning. Hi, Carl. I got so much uh, to watch in Washington. Um, these seemingly rapid policy shifts regarding tariffs, and yet stocks seem largely unbothered. Are you? Well, I'm a little troubled by some of the policies, but uh, I guess uh, the new normal is these constant uh, uh, is constant turmoil. So I, I suppose that maybe that's why uh, the markets are shrugging it off. How effective is it, um, a president uh, or a leader of any organization? who um, essentially is, uh, appears to be arguing, I perhaps need a cabinet less than some of my predecessors. I'm reminded the, that the movie mogul uh, Louis Meyer is supposed to have said, I hate yes men. I want people who will tell me exactly what they think, even if it costs them their jobs. And um, that seems to be the, the, the rule in this White House. I, I don't understand it. I served in uh, two administrations wrapped around my, my days in business. and. Um, I, I, uh, I don't really know how uh, a White House functions effectively uh, with this kind of uh, turnover, uh, this kind of uh, apparent uh, discouragement of, of contrary thinking. Uh, Governor, you know, when you take a look at what the White House has accomplished, though, you might say maybe this whole thing is working, though. I mean, the, the, the president was able to install uh, a Supreme Court justice. He was able to accomplish tax reform. There's a major push on deregulation that the markets definitely like. I mean, these are three major uh, accomplishments by this White House that in spite of what everybody's saying about dysfunction, the counter to that would be look at what they have accomplished. Where do you stand on whether or not this technique may be um, uncharted, but maybe effective? I don't know if it's the technique. I would certainly agree that, that these are uh, important improvements. I think the uh, shift of regulatory emphasis, you, you can definitely give the administration credit for that. And uh, they've, they've put some real actions behind, the, behind their uh, stated intentions. The other two you mentioned uh, are achievements, but they're certainly shared achievements with the Congress, without whom you wouldn't have the, either the uh, new justice uh, or the, the tax bill. So uh, I, don't, I don't mean to be uh, uh, you know, too critical. I, I will just say that uh, it's uh, uh, generally um, advisable, I think, to have both diversity of opinion and also some order in the House uh, uh, for the, uh, both for good results and the long-term confidence of the country. Governor, with all the headlines coming at us almost every day, sometimes we forget about things from last week, namely, for example, the tariffs placed on steel and aluminum. As a former governor of a state that has a lot of industrial businesses, I'm just curious to get your, your take overall uh, on whether you think they were a good idea. Well, I can't find an economist at Purdue or anywhere else who, who thinks that this is a, a well-advised action. I, uh, it is uh, interesting to uh, th look at it from the standpoint of my home state. Indiana is the number one steel state in the country, has been for four decades. Very proud of that. It's important. Uh, but there are many, many more jobs uh, involved and therefore at risk. We're the number two auto state, the number one RV state, major in, uh, with number one state in terms of uh, manufacturing intensity, uh, percentage of uh, our whole economy that's involved in manufacturing. So even in Indiana, number one steel state, there is some real risk that the net of this could be negative, both in terms of, of uh, simple job count and, of course, cost to consumers. A lot was written over the weekend about uh, farmers, uh, uh, grain farmers in particular, uh, who worry about uh, the loss of a marginal buyer overseas. How serious is that concern? Be pretty serious, certainly, in our, in our state of Indiana and, and elsewhere. The uh, agricultural sector needs those exports. Uh, uh, prices have not been uh, positive for a while, and, uh, and uh, it's very, very easy. Uh, other nations, and by the way, it's perfectly fair for the president and others and his supporters to point out that other nations don't have clean hands on this. One of the, one of the um, uh, most protectionist things they do, of course, is, uh, is shore up uh, unproductive agricultural sectors. So one of the quickest triggers they might pull would hurt our farmers. Let's hope that's not the case. Finally, Governor, uh, what a provocative piece 
in the Washington Post uh, aimed at Condoleezza Rice and her efforts to reform the NCAA. You, you say best of luck. Uh, if you thought Iranian sanctions or North Korean nukes were hard problems, wait until you try this one. What's your message here? Well, I'm so glad the NCAA uh, picked somebody as, uh, as stellar as, as uh, Condi Rice uh, uh, to lead this commission. Um, you know, college athletics and, and basketball maybe in particular uh, has some uh, issues which were pretty obvious even before the FBI took the lid off uh, another corner of it. And so uh, as someone who's a passionate uh, sports and collegiate sports fan, I do hope that we'll see some uh, new rules and policies from the NCAA, and by the way, the NBA could help in a big way that brings fairness uh, and, uh, and greater integrity to the game and restores, it to it, it restores us to a place where these are really students that we're uh, watching uh, and admiring and cheering for. The year of readiness is a very interesting idea, Governor. Have you heard from Condi? Uh, no, we're going to talk, I guess, sometime soon. And when we do, I'm, I'm going to say, as I did in that piece, look, I don't pretend to have the answers. I rattled off uh, year of re readiness, meaning uh, do what we once did and, and uh, be a student for a year before you play uh, varsity sports. But uh, uh, whether, whether that's part of the answer, uh, it'll probably take a multiplicity of, uh, of approaches to clean this thing up. And I do not uh, affect the... Uh, know exactly what the right ones are, uh, but where we are is, uh, is not a good place, and I, I really don't understand anyone who defends the status quo uh, with its uh, excesses uh, and, uh, and, and its uh, unfairness to the uh, athletes who create all this uh, income and money, and possibly its dishonesty. Hmm. Yeah, uh, well, we're in the middle of March Madness, but who knows, uh, very few um Executives have the crossover uh, knowledge between sports uh, and business as Rice. We'll see what she does. Uh, Governor, please come back soon. Good to talk to you. Hey there. Thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.